God bless you. So we're here, as always, in study. It is time now to realize the woes. The woes upon them that are wise in their own sight. Drunk on their own pride. Bitter. Contentious. Stuck in their own ways. The nations led by wicked. Then the people mourn. The people suffer and imagine such wickedness. For they are the ones that come to destroy the earth. For they are of their father, the devil. There's no truth in them, no good in them. Their father was a liar and a murderer from the beginning. And his judgment is to come. And all his children partake of his cup, his wrath. God will judge. So Isaiah 5.20 Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward, and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Therefore is the fire devoureth the stubble, and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts, and despise the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against them, and hath smitten them, and the hills did tremble, and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Woe unto those so wicked. Look upon this earth and what is happening. There is a fire kindled, and who can put it out? Fire, fire, everywhere you look it burns. But they do not see. They cannot hear. Those that are greedy, that wish you to have nothing, they wish for you to eat waste, human waste, sewage. And if that's not bad enough, I'd say that would be the worst, but they also wish you to like the bugs as well. They want you to own nothing. They want you to be happy. And they want you to conform and obey and do as they say. They want you to be up to date with all the things they say you need to have. You understand. They want you to Stand apart. Do you see who we talk of? They are the synagogue of Satan. Those in power and authority. For they have bowed their knee unto Satan, their father. For just as he tried to tempt Christ but failed, for he said, I have the power to give the power of the nations to whom I wish. Jesus didn't say you were wrong in that, he rebuked him. Because he's the prince of the power of the air. Little g, when you say he is the god of this world. Many are deceived. The frequencies are increasing, the airwaves are being changed. Who's finding it hard to pray lately? Who's finding it harder to concentrate? Who's finding... Illnesses and conditions exacerbated. Well, you pray and put on your spiritual armor, for no weapon formed against you shall prosper. God's wrath is against such wickedness. And as you'll see in Revelation 11.18, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that they should give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and just destroy them 
which destroy the earth. What do you think they're doing? They're burning everything. God is supreme. They are wise in their own sight. They marvel in their own glory, in their own greed they are not satisfied. Those that wish to buy, which they were told, no, you cannot, so they put a new plan, a formulation, and so they could. Not only did they want control of everything, they wanted obedience and servitude while you suffer. And they want you to thank them for it. They want you desperate on them to lead you in how to live. They don't want you to know God's creation and the natural order. They want you to know the unnatural order. You're much more comfortable with a microwave than you are an open fire when it comes to cooking. You're much more comfortable with an electrical light than you are the candle. All these things, this world, the candle of the light shall shine no more at all in thee. And this comes from Revelation 18, verse 23. And it's to do with rich merchants. Well, what's a merchant? They're salesmen. Powerful salesmen because they're the powerful men of the age. Who has control? Who's dictating to everyone everywhere what they should be doing? And who's obeying and doing it? The word was sorcery. The translation is pharmakia. Couldn't go to the cinema. Couldn't go to work. Couldn't go to the park. Can't travel. Can't meet people. Can't see anyone. But they said, sin and be rewarded. We'll give you this, if you this. They were, have some burger and fries, if you'll have this. Or maybe you like a donut, if you have this. Maybe you're a pervert. Come to the lap dance bar, they'll give you free dances if you have this. Like your job, well, if you want to keep it, you better have this. All these different things they offered. Free coffee, free food, free tickets to the cinema. Extra money, chance of being rolled into a lottery raffle. If you had it. They gave incentives to convince people to take it. And they said it was all legitimate. You see, we have to speak carefully. This was simple and could be anything, just like Revelation 6 too. Simplest piece of fabric is the translation word toxon for fabric. It's the word for bow in that point. And I'll tell you this, look in your Latin Bible or just type in Biblia Sacra Revelation 6.2. Okay, there's a word, I won't be able to say it because this place is much more stringent now. Begins with C. And most people know it with the number, and the number 19, you understand. So, they talk about that. But that is the word for crown. So, Charlie Vector. The Charlie, that word that we're not saying, means crown. And it was a simple piece of fabric with it that went conquering and to conquer. To bring in obedience, the beginning of the end, the signs of the end. Jesus said, carefully not deceive, for the world's full of it now. Are your eyes open? God's God, his cup of wrath is being filled. And those that become a part of all of this, because look what's happening. They're telling you at the moment, there's another one, and it's time to... Once more, I told you, when this all began, this doesn't go away. Isaiah 25, 7. Where are we? And he will destroy in this mountain the face 
of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. The world is full of gaslighting. And they tell you, oh, it's not this, while well, they do something that it is directly in your face. Like, oh, it's not that, though. But they do it in front of you. They say, oh, it's not. Repetition is the first form of brainwashing. And they keep repeating the same things. One, two, three. Remember, they just said, put as many as you can on. They ignore about the dispelling of actual bacteria from your lungs. They ignore the build-up of CO2. They ignore the decrease in oxygen in the red stuff that runs through the vein. They tell you do not worry about those that passed out because... They were, you get the idea. People were being paid to say a person was because of such and such thing. Because there was money involved, so morality went out the door. You start to see what a person's moral line is, or lack thereof. Do they have integrity? Or do they not? Do they stand for righteousness or do they not? Do you stand for truth or do you not? And they have wickedness, for they are murderers, just as their father. And God's judgment comes upon them. Now, over to the book of wisdom to know your enemy. Chapter 12, verses 3 to 6. For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of thy holy land, whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcrafts and wicked sacrifices, and also those merciless murderers of children and devourers of man's flesh and the feasts of blood with their priests out of the midst of their idolatrous crew and the parents that killed with their own hands souls destitute of help they are flesh eaters they don't hide it your celebrities sing about being it your actors they openly talk about going to venues for it as do those in power and authority. Fancy venues. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can find this. Witchcraft. You'll find many of them are in Kabbalah. If you don't know what that is, you'll see many of them with a little red ribbon around their wrist. And it's a far wicked thing to be thankful if you don't know it. Sacrifices, well, you can find a certain list of letters you'd send by mail, but a digital-based type of mail, you understand, and files of it, and people of power, authority, famous, many of them, an island where many go to, where it has... A plane that would take people to it as well. That place goes down many layers. They're all about the pits of hell. Because that's where they'll be going for all they have done. Feasts of blood. Drinkers. Well, Gaga made a horror film about doing that sort of thing known as the Countess. This person has also spoken on their digital feeds that they have on their different platforms to their followers about drinking red stuff. Be aware of who these people are. They normalize these things. 
What's been done before is done again. Nothing is new under the sun. These wicked things have been happening since the beginning. And look where we are today. Just as it was in the day of Ezekiel, it was one man of God versus 450 priests of Baal. You have an army of evil and wickedness against you. You're a single soldier in a swathe of wickedness. And you must stand up in the word of God. You must rebuke this wickedness. You must have no part of the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead to expose it. You are to stand in Christ valiantly, earnestly, praying and intercessing, breaking down strongholds as a good soldier in the body of Christ. Know your Bibles. This is your weapon. The word of God, the sword of the spirit. Your army, your spiritual armor. For you are in a spiritual war. It's not flesh and blood. They are but puppets and victims of demons within. Look to legion and you'll understand. They are the ones that have control. We must be prepared for the adversary. We must stand steadfast in Christ. Because just as you are praying to your Father in heaven, you are aware your enemy prays to their Father. You see, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Jesus knows all we do and everything we're going through. He knows our battle. But we're persevering through it. We're fighting. The word of God running the race. Fighting the good fight. Standing steadfast and faithful unto the end. You know us. By our faith. By our deeds. By our works. Those that love me keep the commandments. And me and the Father will make a home in him. Those are Jesus' words. Do we argue it? Certainly not. We obey Christ. Love one another as I have loved you. Two greatest commandments. Love God with all your heart, mind, body, strength and spirit. And the second like it. To love your neighbor as yourself. Do not forget it. And I know the blasphemy of them. Which say they are Jews and are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. Synagogue. Church. Church of Satan. So you know who they pray to. You know who they sacrifice to. You know who they obey. His will they want to do. John 8.44. Was it 8.45? Can't think at this moment. But the important thing is you know your enemy. And they want to do his will. So if he's a liar and a murderer from the beginning. Then that's who they become. Student becomes like teacher. Who teaches you and instructs you is who you become as. Think about who you follow and who you listen to. Who do you wish to be like? Take heed. Because he is your enemy. So stand steadfast. Rebuke Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You can be washed clean. That you can see the veils and the chains of bondage that bind. That you can cast them off in the name of the authority of Jesus Christ. That they be cast out and removed from you. That you may see clearly and be washed clean in the blood of the Lamb. That you may follow our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ wholeheartedly and faithfully. That you can stand up. Deny self. Picking up your cross. And following Jesus and learning from him daily. When you're tired and weary. Coming to him for rest. He will fill you with living waters. You will never thirst. You will be quenched. The missing piece of the puzzle will be filled, for God will be in you, for his Holy Spirit. For those that ask, how do we be saved? Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be prepared. Stand steadfast. Because what we're seeing around this world is their works and their deeds, deception and murder. And it will only get worse. And they will deceive many. 
Stand in the word of God. Fear God and not men. Obey God above all. And not men, for your body is the holy temple. And he that defiles the holy temple, God himself will destroy. Know your Bibles. Stand steadfast. God bless each and every one of you.